got that number. Just out of the blue. And uh, he hardly even pulled the line. Most gutless big fish I've ever caught. Good morning, guys. Well, today we're going to head out fishing with possum. We're launching out of Frankston and we're going to be chasing some snapper. Should be a terrific day. There's not, not much wind about. We're in December, it's Christmas, so Merry Christmas to everyone. Hope everyone's having a terrific season. Yeah, we've been getting a few fish over the last month. Uh, quite a lot of fish actually, and it's been terrific. It's been a great season. Before we go fishing, I just want to answer a few questions so then I can send the people the links, say watch this. All right, here we go. So this here, is a transducer if you don't know it connects to your sounder so this is the 165 high wide transducer and it costs around 700 dollars so if you're not an offshore person and you just want to muck around in the bays this is a really good mid-range transducer um, to buy to sound up snapper so this is a 185 high wide transducer that's a really good transducer you got your standard transducer and they're all good. If you're someone who doesn't fish a lot, I used a standard transducer for like 10 years and I never had a problem. And then I went to the 165 and that's a fantastic transducer for like mid range. And then I've got this one now, which I've just had for maybe a month. And the difference between that and that is marginal and this is just, might be a bit better for offshore. All it really is, is about getting your transducer in the cleanest water. And most of the time, if your transducer is not working properly, that's the main, that will be the reason because it's not um, mounted correctly. So read the user manual, go from there. You want arches to be roughly a meter. Try not to zoom right in. I like this palette here, advanced, uh, more options, palette, I've said it a million times. I prefer this palette because I can see the bottom, then I can see the growth on the bottom, and then I can see any rocks or rubble or structure or whatever. Um, so just get in the habit of using your scale here and not to try to zoom in too much like this because then it makes everything look massive and if you leave it your scale around a meter will really help you when you find fish and they're good arches and um, they don't go if your baits are coming back got bite marks and and they're coming back with like something's chewed the guts out or there's a high chance there's little pinkies down there and that's what you've sounded up but if you're bringing back silver whiting and pilchards that are untouched, there's a good chance they're big fish down there. The hardest thing to do is to resist whether to anchor or not, and then then also get that right. Like sometimes you get it wrong. Depending on how calm it is, how fast you're going, there's so many variables because of the way the ping works. If you're going faster, an arch will look smaller. If you're going slower, or if you're stationary, an arch can look long. It's these type of things that is just takes experience. You know, there's diminished results with sounders. Like you buy the top of the, it's like cameras. You buy the best camera. The picture is still, it's it's really good, but then you put it next to an iPhone. Is it that much better? Or is it just slightly better for the price you pay? And that's very similar with uh, sounders. <laughs>
we've got a bit of an engine problem. The oil is slow and the alarm went off, so I'm quickly fixing it. It's uh, a bit of an issue with this Optimax. Couldn't get better conditions and uh, we've got that stormy weather coming up though. Uh, it's going to be 33 degrees on Friday with storms. The other weekend when we had that stormy weather, the fish went absolutely crazy. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Get some arches already. Oh, a few meters. Drop the pick and we'll be into them straight away. We'll see, buddy. We will. The ultra rig. The ultra rig. Oh, ultra rig. Look at that. See, now what I do, possum, have a look. I cursor on and it tells me exactly how far. We might just let it play the video. There's a good fish. Yeah, hey, panda. That that's, one's got it. That's not a panda. It's a nice fish, possum. Talk us through. Yeah. Um, put a bit of burly out, Brady, and uh, just got a buckle. I know it's not a huge fish, Brett, but it, I think it'll. It's a net job, isn't it? It'd be a nice fish, probably. It's not taking a lot of line, but. Yeah, you're a bit tired. Like me. <laughs> Couple of kilos, maybe. Yeah. On the silver, Brady. Yeah. Good. You, you said the other day, Brett, they weren't uh, really going hard. Yeah. No, they're just a bit sluggish after, after they... Oh, I've got one. You're right. I might have side-hooked him, but Brady. I have side hooked him. Oh well, he's a keeper. <sighs> he's gut hooked, unreal. Oh, he's not a big. A little. I've got one here side hooked, so he's uh. You have to stay in the boat, Brady. That boy. Yeah. Bit of encouragement though. Yeah. Nice size uh, for the. Nice size fish, that one. Good eater. Oh, no, look at this guy. Oh, he's right down. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you stay there, mate, for a minute. I'll get this. What do I do? I'm just going to have to cut it off. Yeah. yeah. There's one good one here, at least. Get the big bulldog here, just come through and smack a few of the little ones out the way and say. So... I hope so. Wouldn't mind a big bulldog. Yeah. You just say, get out of my way. Oh, there we go. There's a bull. You got one on, bull? I got a bull one. He seems all right. <laughs> yeah, he's good. Good, good work, buddy. Good work. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. So we're on the bullies. That's what we're looking for. He's pulling a bit of drag, so he might be a better fish, Brad. I think he is. Not huge, maybe three kilos or something, three and a bit. Yeah, all right. That's... To start. Oh, there's another rod. That one's on. What? That's a good fish. Nice and easy. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Double hook up. Let's have a look at this bulldog. Hang he's on. a nice fish. I'll have to get you to the net, Brett. No, it's, oh, 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 he's only just hooked. He's only just hooked. The net's up there. If he does a run, I'm going to lose it. Oh, he's off. Oh, he's off. Fair dinkum. Fair dinkum. Oh, don't worry. That's all right. Um, this one's not a net job, I don't think, Brett, this one. He was just in by the lip, eh? Yeah, yeah. That's okay, Brady. You don't mind losing one now and then. We're going to do him. Toe drag him in or net him. He's just hooked as well. Well, he's in, though. You got him? Yeah, he's in. Well done, mate. Bad luck, but... Oh, 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 oh. Shit.
give them time to find the boat. Just throwing the burly up current. That one's getting a bit of a nibble. Hey, come on, come on, get fit serious. This is what they'll do with me and Vargas. Oh, they're small. You gotta work out if they're small or big. That looks like small by that type of bite. But when we were getting them, um, that night Benny was there. You had to get through the pinkies. Got him? <sighs> Too much flexing. Oh, there's one. Oh. What do you got here, Possum? Yeah, I thought he was better the way he took off, but. Um, he died in the ass. He's got a bit of weight to him, but. No. He can go. He can go back. Yeah, he's, his bag's not up, so. Yeah, he's away. Got him. Just lifted into him. Nice and easy. And got him. Be a bit better, Brenny. He's a ripper. Oh, he's off. <laughs> well, good sign though. He was a better fish. He was going to start. He was going to start going, Brett. He's a better fish. Yeah. What did you laugh for? I hate him. I'm not blaming you. I'm blaming the flexi rod. Anyway, it's a good sign. I'm glad we got a decent run because you can relax for a minute now. But see, this one bit funny at the start. Did you see it? Yeah. He just never had it down because they're not, they're half interested, they're so tired, they're half interested in the boat. Easy on this one now. Oh, there's one. Hill, that big fish hill. Got him? Yeah. Big fish? He's oh, a bit better, I think, but that's on the ultra, or he's off, I think. Felt, felt a bit of weight. Oh, he just smashed that uh, piece of um, salmon I had on there. That Some of the snap was off, right? I don't have that problem, like, with the stiffer rods. That's why I got these. You got one on, Bull? I got a Bull one. He seems all right. Yeah, he's good. There's the fish we just got. The 187s you can still see in his mouth. Pushing three, maybe. Yeah. You reckon? Yeah, it's a nice fish. It's not a big fish, but... It's, it's a good fish, Brett. Yeah. Oh, hang about. Growing? It's growing. He hasn't even done a run yet. He's gone, he's got some weight. He might wake up in a minute. Good job. Ready? Are you got Little balls like this today. Ah, uh, pan dog. That burly. We put in, and fired them up. This one's going to go in a minute. It's going, getting a bit of an inquiry. They just lip hook today, right in the lips, and their lips can just, when you pull too hard, they can pull the hooks through. It's funny how they've just, all the fish have been hooked in the lips, like right in the lips. It's a bully I just got. Catching a few fish now, letting a few go, but yeah. Looking great, this is what we need. Engine going through that creek. Stop engine and check plug water inlet. How this? How am I supposed to do that on the water? Fucking hell! Pull the boat out. Coming back home. I'm gonna try and unfree the gunk that's in the motor. I'm gonna be bothered going again. Well, that literally took me two minutes to fix, and we're back. Two minutes to fix. So we've got to relaunch for the second time. All right, eh? Get these rods back in. What a mish, and now the wind's come up. Fully against me today. 
Oh, we're on. Uh, we're on. <laughs> we didn't even get them. We only got one rod out. This is a good fish. <laughs> first rod. Literally first rod. <laughs> And we're right on the tire change. We know he's not here by himself because they're a schooling fish. So we ain't moving. Oh, he's a beautiful fish. He is a beauty. Oh. He's a nice little retter for the bag. Uh-oh, been fishing 10 minutes after all that stuff. Oh, that one's gonna go. There we go, got him. Yep, got him. Been have the burly, and I think I've had the camera going the whole time. It's been a whole three minutes. I don't like the springy rods because you lose too many fish. Terrific rods. I like a stiff rod tick. So when the fish first does its uh, run, sets the hook better. On the 187s. Beautiful little, I don't know, four kilo, three and a half. That's the size we want. Let's get the buckle. There you go, there's the buckle. Oh, it's a good one. goes so these they just bite the heads off the silvers I reckon they're like crunching them or something so I'm gonna what I'm talking to the camera so I'm gonna put all the hooks up the front just because I don't want to miss them every bait's just coming back with no just a headless horseman what that rod's doing bites is it the Got him. He's trying to be a slippery. No. No. The other one was better. Oh, he's starting to wake up now. Get the net. Just hasn't done nothing. Oh. Look how red he is. Yeah. Look at that. He didn't even pull dry. Yeah, Just says they're tired from spawning, yeah. eh? Beautiful. All right. We just left the spot. They had lots of fish on it, but they're only like up to three, three and a half kilos. There could be some bigger ones there, but I feel like we would have got them straight away if the bigger ones were there, so we're not chasing our bag today, we're just trying to catch a big fish, which is often the case. Which is often the case. King of the big fish. Oh yeah, no. King of the big fish. 
you can. Honestly, I reckon there's two on the Paternoster or something. Yeah, we we left a hot bite before to find bigger fish, and we've been driving around like maniacs <laughs> and come back to the same spot where the fish are gone. <laughs> plenty of fish yeah, here. We got them before. So it's a lesson to us. Not 